that could be. I can't answer that. No, to we'll, be just, we'll just we'll skip that one. Just, just drink sensibly. Drink responsibility. Yeah. Responsi <laughs> <laughs> drink responsibility. Okay. Drink responsible people. All yeah. Right? Drink responsibly. Maybe. Responsibly. <laughs> responsibly. <laughs> My channel. My name's Amber Reed, and this is Willis. Willis, my partner. Um, today we have decided to do a Q and A. So last night I actually asked a question on Instagram and asked if anyone had any questions for us to answer today. And I have a whole bunch which I'm about to get, and we're just going to go through them randomly as well. So we totally. We'll just go with the flow. How do I even get... I always find it hard to get to the questions. Um, you go to the story. Okay, so. How long were you trying before you found out you were pregnant? Uh, you, you got off the pill like six months before. Yeah. But we weren't really trying. Like it wasn't... It we wasn't like really we were trying. It was just like trying. if it happened, it happened. Yeah. Um, so I'd say probably what six months. Yeah, I'd say so. And I got to the point, or at the stage where I was thinking, like, I don't think I'm ever gonna get pregnant. So I had all those fears because we had mm. not been on any contraception, contraception, and nothing had happened. So we weren't necessarily trying. However, we had talked about it, and it was kind of something that we wanted. But um, the one time that I tracked my ovulation and I got that app flow so the one time i did and we had sex i found out i was pregnant like straight away so yeah. i think that's the only time we actually tried properly yeah and tracked it and then i felt pregnant straight away so Very yes good. yeah okay how are you how do you feel about being parents are you feeling anxious uh i'm not anxious i'm excited yeah more excited Same. to be honest i think we're at the Same. time of our lives where um, it's just another journey and we're kind of ready for it. So, yeah, I'm feel, excited. Feel ready. I'm excited too. Yeah. Like, obviously, no, I wouldn't say anxious no. about it, no. Probably but, just don't know what to expect, yeah. really. But it's just a whole... Excited. Definitely excited. Yeah. And we definitely feel like we talk about this a lot. We definitely feel like it's just the right time Same for us. And I feel like, you know, I, I like a lot of people that probably already have children, like once you have the baby, it's going to feel like what was life like beforehand. Like, I just know mm. that we're going to feel that sense, like, real strongly, I think. Mm. Mm. Like, this is just so meant to be. Um, do you have any secret names you're both trying to choose from for your son? No. We, we've got his name. We've got a name. Yeah, we've got his name. And there's actually a question I'll just skip to it up here baby names you love but won't use what other names do we like so um, I'm obviously not going to say what the name, his name is so like Boston yeah uh, Boston. Chicago you like that I, I like, like Chicago that. I want to copy Kim K Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But we like we like country names. So what else? Um, I really like the name London. Um, I like that name. You like? I like the name Carter, but our friends actually just had a baby and called him um, Carter. We weren't going to call him that anyway, but it is one of the names we like. Um, I wanted to go like something different, like not your ordinary, yeah. like Sam or John <laughs> or, you know, just Sad like... Sad to Sam and John. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, no. But like, you know, just like... <laughs> different. Names that everyone uses all the time, so we yeah. want to kind of be different. But not too different. So the name yeah. we've got is different, but it's not too, like... Extreme. Extreme. But yeah, so that's that answer. Um, have you and your partner ever had a massive argument? If so, how did you both sort it out? Uh, we haven't recently, like, the last I don't even few remember. years. But we haven't really had a massive argument. Probably, the f like, we've had arguments... Yeah, like, like we had when little. We, when we first kind of started, was probably the biggest no. argument. Or only I can't argument. remember. Yeah, that's if I was to think, like I'm talking like four years ago. Yeah, 
Like when I was still a little boy and yeah. immature in the head. Yeah. It was kind of my fault, to be honest, but I was just being immature and young and stupid. Silly. Just silly. Silly, immature little boy, but how do we work that? We just talked about it and... The, the one thing I love about Wills is you <clears> tell him <throat> something once and it, like, is installed in his brain and he'll, like, listen to you. He really listens and will never do it again. And, like, mm. that's why he's, like, I find him really good to, like... To either coach, <laughs> not that I am, but like if you were in my sports team or something, mm. like he's just very much like that. So I think that really works for us. Like I told him, like, I, that's not all good, I don't like that. And he never did it again. But I think it, it was just something silly, like got jealous of me talking yeah. or something. It was something like one of those like ones, real, just jealous. Real young. It's like, no. Like, I would never ever do that. Like, I look back and I'm like, hey, just so young. <laughs> young. Just young, but yeah. But you no. were like 18, so that's. What? But no, honestly, we don't. Like, we have little arguments, like, little, I won't even, yeah, arguments just about Just get annoyed stuff. at each other. Yeah. More. But like, we get over it, too. Like, I'm just like... Whatever, yeah. Never had a massive one. What type of mother or father do you want to be? A good one. A good one. <laughs> but what's good? I don't yeah. know. Um, I don't really have a father, so I guess just being a father. Being there for my son is probably the best yeah. thing I could do. Um, growing up with no father obviously teaches me a lot on what it's like to grow up without a father. Yeah. So I know that it's pretty stink not having a father. So just being there. Yeah, and always. Eh? Always loving my son to the death and all my kids. Just uh, mine, my biggest thing is just, just showing the child so much love. Like, mm -hmm. I just want to, and to have them grow up around so much love. That's just the biggest thing. I truly believe that love just makes the most beautiful person. And just knowing that they're loved, that their parents love each mm -hmm. other, and just to be a good examples of what true love is, yeah. I think that'll just instill, <clears throat> like, just good, respectful morals in a child. Like, that's all you want. Um, so, yeah, that's that one. What is the number one lesson you will you want to instill in your son? So, that kind of links to that. Just to be really respectful and yeah, be really respectful, open. Yeah, um, that's one big one. It's just want, not hiding stuff, yeah, hey, from I your want child. Our kids to be able to trust us and tell us anything. Doesn't matter whether it's naughty shit. Like I, like I still have stuff that I haven't told my mum. Like I, I don't <laughs> want it to be like that. Yeah. Like I want our kids to be open and just for them Sorry, to be mom, comfortable. Sorry, mum. Sorry, mum. What is this? But, no, but for them that's... just to be comfortable enough to share anything. Yeah. And it's a hard, I think it's, it's so hard yeah. for a parent though. Yeah. Because we were just get that balance. Yeah, talking about that before, like my, you know, there's so much a parent can do, but it's I, I don't know what it is. It's yeah. It's also the personality of the child, so you can. I think they're never gonna. I mean, not necessarily. We're talking like way down the track too, mm. by the way. But just being as open, I know that if there's one thing is when. You feel like you can trust the parent, you know, like they tell you everything and are open about everything. I feel mm. like the, the child kind of does exactly the same. So just being really open and honest about like, this is yeah. life. Yeah. 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 That's what happens. Blah, blah, blah. Were there any hard times you both struggled with during your pregnancy? No. No. She was pretty lucky. Yeah. She had a very, very good pregnancy. Well, st I think. Still, going, still going, by the way. But yeah, you've had a pretty good pregnancy so far. Like, Very hasn't lucky. haven't been sick at all. Nah. No real big cake cravings or anything. No, no, like little. No little mood swings, but not <laughs> massive. Because I just yeah. ignore her anyway. So she, <laughs> she snapped out of it pretty being quick. Silly, but I I know when I'm being silly too. It's just you know as we all do. But nah, nah not yeah. really any hard times at all. Like I mm. think the biggest thing with me is like adjusting to the body changes mm, i yeah. think for someone who previously before this was someone you know like who worked really hard on their body and their physique and their health and fitness and all that sort of stuff it's quite hard for someone who is very you know used to that body. used to that and to be able thing. to see it changes and i worked really hard so i think that's been my that's biggest, been your biggest yeah. dealing with that and i'm doing it's it. been tough it's been tough but I'm doing, but doing good. good. As good as I can. Describe pregnancy in one word 
from your perspective, Amber, and so from you, so one word from me. Pregnancy. Oh, um. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Pregnancy. I could go in like along the lines of like. Grow. Yeah. <laughs> Growth. Beautiful. Growth. Love. Love. Just a love. I People think love. The love. Yeah. Just the connection you get straight away. Probably. Ex like excitement. Excitement, yeah. Anticipation. I don't know, there's more <laughs> words. Um, okay. Do you want kids close in age? Yeah. Yeah. Relatively. Yeah. I reckon two or three years apart type of thing. Yeah. Will be enough. Um, but in saying that, like, I've got cousins that I've grown up with who are eight years apart. There's three of them. There's eight. All of them are eight years apart. And it's, and like, it's like a like the perf like they're awesome. Like the older one looks after the younger ones, and the young one just like feeds off the old one and just learns everything from the older one. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, I think you can either way. Like you make yeah. it. It's like you, you make it work. You want it close. Them. Not too close, but they're not too far. I don't yeah. know. It's just depends. I don't know. Well, also, whatever fits into our life as well. Yeah, I, at that time. And I really yeah. like the idea of it just being us, the three of us, for a really, you know, a while. Mm. And just, you know, being able, it's just so much easier when you just have one baby to travel and do that sort of stuff that yeah. we still want to do. We still want to travel and stuff, so. So, just go with the flow. <laughs> no plans. Um, what are you most nervous for about being a mum? Also, you're crazy beautiful. Oh, that's nice. Um, most nervous about... Um... I don't know. What am I nervous about? I, I'm not nervous. I'm, like... I guess... Just want to be the best mum. Yeah, just being so a good mum. Just mom, being a good mum. Which I think it puts a lot of pressure on a lot of people because exactly like what, what, also, is, good. what it is... A good mum, I just doing my best and actually I think just making sure I balance like being a mum and also just still being the same person that I originally was and still like following my passions and stuff. I think that's mm. another thing. Um, how was the move from New Zealand to Oz? I'm from South Auckland and I'm scared to make the change. You can ask that. Um, it was obviously scary at the start, just not knowing what you're going to do. Um, yeah, just moving, like, I had no family at all, just me and Amber. Mm -hmm. Amber had family here, but I had nothing, um, and I'm my only child as well, so that was pretty hard for mum to move, so it was a bit scary at the start. Cause it, just a little <coughs> background, he was, you were 18? 17? Yeah, 18, after school. After school. Yeah, 18. Um, I was just 18, 19. Finished school, and yeah, just kind of, I've always wanted it, like, I was born and bred rugby but I did play a little bit of league and um, I always had the idea of coming to Australia and playing league so obviously this opportunity came up and then yeah, mm. I thought well may as well give it a try at least for a year or something and for that like it you know you can always move back and it was scary at the start and so just because just a little bit of a background on that because I also have another question what made you move to Oz and when did you make the move so I moved Initially, so Wills and I met, I moved over, we decided to go out once I moved over. Mm. We then did long distance for a good six months and we like, committed to each other, which I think really made us super strong because we were like, yep, we definitely want to do this. Mm. I moved back to Aussie and then once he had finished... Back to New Zealand. Sorry, New yes. Zealand. Yeah, New Zealand. And then once he was ready, we both moved together. And so that's when he had to make the move. So we were moving to live with my family here. So we had that support. And did that... That yeah. definitely made it easier, mm. especially with her family. Like Jobs they're, they're and stuff, like my yeah. family now, so that definitely made it heaps easier. Like if it was just us two, I don't know. I think I would have been more homesick. Oh yeah, and probably would have moved back. I don't know, but definitely, de definitely living with her, her mum and stepdad has helped heaps with work and everything because they're only in business, so I was working in there. Um, just having that. I don't know, just having that... You had your footy team and, there, and yeah. the difference between Wills, he was able to be in a footy team and actually meet heaps of friends. Yeah. So and I struggled yeah. with not having my friends and, you know, they were all in New Zealand for me. So I found that really hard 
personally is just always wanting to be with my friends or you know you're at that young stage where you still want to be partying you know you still want to be hanging out with them at least you like obviously our best best friends are probably still back home yeah but, but yeah you had that? Well, it was a little bit easier for me because obviously playing the sports team you meet so many people mm. and they become your best friends really um so it was yeah. a little bit easier for me i guess yeah but, but honestly so just advice. if you want to do it just do it you don't have to commit it commit to it forever do mm -hmm. it for a good six months a year and then if you want to move back move back at least you you can say you had a shot we probably won't move back to like new zealand yeah now. we we yeah. must like i like going back home and seeing friends and family but yeah we'll probably stay here forever now i think yeah i think so but yeah you know just do it back yourself yeah just, yeah, just yeah. see how you go see some you people go. obviously some people doesn't work for them and yeah. don't also don't be afraid of you know it's not necessarily it's not, failing yeah going back yeah exactly and don't be scared to go back either yeah. like don't be afraid of what people are going to think oh yeah you didn't crack it or, or blah 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 who cares about what people think just do yeah. whatever's right for you yeah are you and will planning <clears throat> to have a baby moon before baby arrives funny you say that because maybe this weekend we've yeah. been talking about that actually <laughs> We're just looking at places to just go away for the weekend. But yes, so we're doing that. What age do you think baby will be when you guys get married? Cute. Uh, I don't know. Maybe one or two. Yeah. Hopefully. Probably more like two. Yeah. Because he'll be one by one this time. next year. Or like, yeah, yeah one or two. Well, one and a half, two type of thing. We, we haven't started that. planning haven't, anything yeah. yet. Haven't planned it. But, but I think that'll be a good time. So then, cute. baby can and then walk walking. the rings or whatever down the aisle. <laughs> it'll be cute. So cute. So we are like thinking about wedding stuff lately, but we're also and we're not in a rush too. We're not like those crazy. We need to get married. We're very yeah. also want to travel, and we're kind of torn as well as wanting to buy a house. Because like, weddings are expensive. And, and I just like, can't uh, comprehend how much just for one day, like just to say that you're married, I uh, just can't. And it's like to me, like it's a house deposit, yeah. you know, like that's how our we think, yeah. and we're just like what. And we're in a, such a stage in our relationship, like I really like apart from the celebration, I don't need to be married. No. I'm not like that. I don't, yeah, I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of yeah being married and like, actually there's another question i just uh, thought about it why do you think couples have kids before getting married <laughs> interesting question but it's kind of like i'm just gonna link that in it's i don't i don't believe just writing on a piece of paper is gonna do anything mm. you know and that's why i really and i've always believed this my dad's quite old school and saying like you should get married first blah blah but to me i've never thought like that because Look, I know so many relationships, so many married couples who are not in a good, you know, yeah. that hasn't done anything and it's not good. Just because you're married doesn't, <laughs> doesn't mean, mean you're going to fix your relationship no. and your relationship's going to be perfect and you're married. a commitment it's not because gonna it's not going to do anything. All it is is to say that you're husband it's and wife. Yeah. But I'm, yeah. we're both as committed as ever and we don't yeah. We don't need, need a, piece, a of piece of paper to say we're committed to each other at all. And saying that, like obviously we the idea of a winning, but that's more just to celebrate, <coughs> yeah. you know? It's and more for that. When we can financially do it and it's the right time, we'll do yeah. it, but we're in no rush. Yeah. Yes. Um how did you guys meet? <laughs> we met through one of my best friends and his cousin Tanika. So she he was a little cousin and she said her little cousin had a crush on me and I was at the time like <laughs> So I knew yes. Yeah. I knew of her. I didn't know her. I knew of her before I actually met her. Through yeah. Instagram. Through Instagram. When like Instagram first started too. Yeah. So back in the days. And I was like, damn. <laughs> I don't even think she lived in New Zealand to be honest. And yeah. And then she said that I was coming to a party and he was like, oh my gosh. So him and all his friends knew that I was coming. <laughs> Little did I know. And then his whole family pretty much knew that he was trying to get with me that whole night because it was his family's event. And so they're every, everyone's got their eyes on watching me, <laughs> watching him like dance with me. I can't believe you're confident enough to do that. Yeah. And then, yeah, and from then, that much, work some magic and yeah. we're here today. <laughs> um, have you guys already decided a name for Bob? Yes, we have decided on the same. Um, mm -mm -mm. 
Well, what is pregnancy like from your perspective? We've kind of answered that. <laughs> easy, <laughs> easy for me, I think. <laughs> it's um, been easy. Like she hasn't been some, no. moody or anything, so it's been pretty easy for me. Just there for support. Yeah. I ain't We're having just... a baby. <laughs> no. But we're just so excited. Yeah. Would you say you have a mature personality? I ask because you're kind of young in this day and age to be having a kid. Yes. I definitely like... Definitely. I'm... She's... 20, almost 24. Yeah. Almost 24. And you're 22. Oh, I can never 22. remember. 22. 22, 23. And I... We definitely feel and always do. And I think it's like kind of like a good thing and a bad thing we feel a lot mm. older than our years and a lot of our friends are all older like i'm talking like you know in their 30s, 30s yeah. so we always feel and we get caught up a lot of the time we put a lot of extra pressure on ourselves because we think we're a lot older and, and we, we need, need to have a, a, have a house and yeah do this, sort do of that. That. yeah but, i think well definitely like when i first met her definitely yeah much more mature than her age yeah and even you are <clears> like you obviously for I am now, but when yeah. I, I was, but I wasn't as mature as I am now. Yeah. Just my mindset. With Amber, like Amber's helped me heaps, definitely. Mm. Um, my mindset now is much different than I was. Yeah, and that's then. just normal. Like that's any like in saying that you weren't immature. Yeah. Just a lot of energy for a little boy. Lots of energy. <laughs> so Still got hypo. that energy though. So <laughs> hypo. <laughs> But I'd rather that than someone that had no energy and no motivation, you know. How do you two resolve difficult situations in your relationship and stay so happy? Communication. Oh, is, that's my yeah. Um, yeah, communication is key. Like with anything in life, mm -hmm. communication. Yeah, we just gotta, I agree. We just talk through it. Like if there's something we don't like, we obviously, I'll tell Amber that I don't like that and we'll just talk about it. She'll tell me what she doesn't like. Yeah. Let's just talk. I think the biggest thing is, is like, what really helps us is we're both so open, just mm -hmm. as people in general. And so we, what you see is what you get with us and we, like, like wear our feelings on our sleeve type thing. So I know you just talk about everything and I yeah. talk about everything too. We don't bodily things up. Yeah. So it just makes it so much easier, you know, when you're in a relationship with someone and it's insane that there's so many people that are a lot more closed off or mm. just introverts even, you know, they don't really talk about their feelings, but I think it makes it harder to be in a relationship with those types of people. Whereas with us, we are very open, we're very extroverted and that sort of thing. We, mm. it just makes it easy to under, just work through and yeah, everything. Yeah. And we just keep happy by being positive. Yeah. Positive vibes. There's no, exactly. And I think, yeah, we've both got such a good mindset in that way. Like, there's no point in being... We have our off days. We have our moments where we're, mm. you know, can be negative or we both... Angry or tired. And... Yeah. And we both overthink things a lot and very impatient sometimes. Like, there's yeah. times we get like that. Um, and things, you know, in life, for example, like you doing your ACL mm. and me being off work and then all of a sudden we've got no work, no income obviously coming in. Like there's things like that that happen in life that you can't plan for and that is difficult mm. and it does uh, put stress on you. But yeah. as long as you, I think, you just, just be positive it about it and just know that it's just short term and... Shit happens. Shit like, happens. Listen to podcasts. Don't dwell on it. <laughs> there's no point in dwelling on it. Yeah. It's not going to change anything. Yeah. Might as well go out there and start doing something about it. Negative, like honestly, there's nothing. It just brings you down, like. It's so unnecessary, like, and it's all like if you think about everything, it is all a mindset. Whatever you do, if you go into it with an open mind, a positive <clears throat> mind, like you're mm -hmm. always gonna come off better off. Yeah. And so we're both just very strongly about that, and I think that just helps. Heaps. Heaps with like, our I work, relationship. I work with a lot of negative people at work, and it just like just being around that, like mm -hmm. it makes you feel. It brings you down as well. Like it's real hard to stay positive, but yeah, it's that's. I just look at those types of people, and it's just like there's no point. Like you're wasting your life being negative so all the time. Negative. Like why? If you're unhappy, yeah. change it. Do something. You know, it's. I'm so against negative people. I don't. I don't like. It's hard, it's, and I and I understand sometimes they don't even know that they're being yeah. like that because And I understand just... people go through shit and makes them like that, but they don't even know that they. Yeah. They don't realize they're being negative, and I understand that, but. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just, yeah. 
be positive people and like i guess sometimes it's like hard because the people that have you know been through shit or mm. have kind of grown up with parents or families that are very negative like it is yeah, so it is, hard yeah. but i think like, there's some practical things to do like maybe like we like listen surround to, your yeah surround yourself, yourself with positive, positive people. people that's number one yeah like don't surround yourself with more negative people there's no point you're just going to feed off them yeah if you want to be positive and happy with your life surround your self with those types of people out there yeah that's number one and just listen to heaps of like we listen to heaps of podcasts that helps heaps just to get your mind just your check. mind yeah do you think you'll breastfeed yes well i'll try anyway obviously uh, sometimes it just doesn't work for some people but that is the plan hopefully advice on teen drinking <laughs> oh i think you're asking the wrong person <laughs> what um Aww. Advice on teen drinking. Why is it for you? Like, is this or your children? I'm not sure, but yeah. um, um, <laughs> it's not really know. something that we've had to deal with yet, apart from ourselves <laughs> drinking. Uh, just have fun with your drinks, <laughs> I guess. Don't drink too much. Try and control Advice yourself. Advice on and... teens drinking. It depends what perspective you're coming from. Yeah, I don't know. It could be. I can't answer that. No, to we'll, be honest. Just, <laughs> we'll just skip that one. Just, just drink sensibly. Drink responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> Respons <laughs> drink responsibility. Okay. Drink responsible people. All yeah. Right. Drink responsibly. Maybe. Responsibly. <laughs> responsibly. <laughs> what do you guys do for a living? You go first. Um, at the moment, nothing. <laughs> no. Um, but I was a fitness trainer, so an F45 trainer. So, yes. But at the moment, I'm doing nothing. <laughs> uh, I am a miner, so I work in the mines. Um, I work on maintenance on conveyor belts and stuff in the mines. Um, and yeah, that's what yes, I do. Yes, there you go. Fun, bit of fun. I love my job. Yes. How did you sort your financial investment book and why did you do it? I don't know what you mean. We were, we've been reading financial been investment reading, books. Yeah, reading Barefoot Investor. Oh, this is a great book. Hang on. That's a good one. Really good book. If you we've been reading that one, um, and we got that from a friend. Yes. They passed it on to us. And... We also read Rich Dad Poor Dad lately. I don't know. I may have talked about these on my story, which is why you're asking. But we just like to educate ourselves a little bit more because there's so much yeah. stuff that you don't learn in school. school, and especially when we're making money and don't know what to do with it. Yeah, we just want to be a, want to be a bit more smarter with, with money. Them. Yeah. Anyway, I think that is. Did you attend Avondale College? I think I remember seeing you. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I went to Avondale College and from year nine to year 13, Wills went to King's College. Um, anything? Yeah, that's about it. Smarter school in Australia. Like the in... total opposites. <coughs> King's College, richest school in New Zealand. <laughs> And Avondale, Avondale College is not the poorest school not in the New poorest, Zealand. Not the poorest, but it's not like... Just public school, you know? Just the yeah. public school people. <laughs> Ew, don't act like he got a scholarship to go there, so... <laughs> nah, I fully paid. I'll, I'll pay it. I'll pay for it. <laughs> and that was after getting kicked out of other schools, so let's not talk about that, okay? And I was the deputy girl of Avondale College, just saying, <laughs> so... <laughs> anyway... That'll do for today. If you do have any more questions, you can list them down below. But it's nice talking, nice chatting, yeah. and see you next time. See you later. Bye, guys. Peace.